Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Well, tonight is a big night. Tonight is a big night where we're going to have Kamala Harris, um, the vice president of the United States of America and the nominated Democratic candidate who's going to be speaking tonight in Chicago. And of course, as she's a Jamaican and as Jamaicans, we like to keep that link and we want to be excited in the whole process. But tonight, I also have her cousin from Brownstown, uh, Mr. Mark Harris, who's going to be sharing with me and talking about her and, and reflect. Here we go. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And as you can see, tonight, the 22nd of the 8th UK time, but of course, I'm going to watch the thing at four o'clock in the morning. But I have Mr. Mark Harris. Mark, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, you know, giving God thanks. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> great. And I've got Sir Gary Graham um, all the way um, in Birmingham. Well, you're in Leeds tonight, isn't it, Gary? Yeah, I'm in Leeds. I'm in Leeds tonight. Hi, this is Gary Graham. Hi, Mark Harris. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. I'm doing good. And you? Um, I'm giving thanks. Good. Yes, yes. Well, I, well, I want to. Every time I, I talk about uh, Kamala Harris, I always, always say, you know, you know, I know the Harris you know, because I went to school with one of the the, the cousins, you know. In, in Brownstone, and I sort of just sort of let it drift away and don't say too much because I don't know how much of that information I should say. But hey, I've got Mr. Mark Harris, um, Miss Harris, Kamala Harris, cousin. How are you, Mark? I'm great. Yeah. What so, are you so doing? Tell, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. I mean, glad good, that we saw, each other. we saw each other recently in Jamaica just in April. Linking That's up right. After all, linking up after all these years from your Castle High School. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So, so tell me, Mark, um, it's a big occasion. We are seeing a big um, thing which is happening now with uh, Kamala Harris. Give us your reflections. And as and, and maybe you want to share your, uh, the, the, the relationship. And I know you guys are cousins, but tell us about um, Kamala Harris and your reflections as to what is happening, this big thing. Um, you know... I'm overwhelmed. I'm very happy for her. Mm. And as you can see, she has been thrashing her opponent very badly. <laughs> and it makes me feel so proud of her. Yeah. You know, knowing her over the years, you know, and as a matter of fact, just a matter of the, in the family itself, you know, we are a very the terming set of people, you know. Mm. And, you know, Kamala, she has been really doing what she needs to do. And over the years, you know, as a prosecutor in um, California, mm. you know, everybody knows, who knows her, knows that she's one who has always stood up for the law and does what she has to do. Yes. And, you know, not a player own kind of person. And someone who is dedicated to her job. Mm. And I am absolutely sure that if she wins this election, which I think she's going to, it will be proven. And I think she's going to be one of the best presidents that the U.S. has ever seen. And 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 why do, why do you say she's going to be one of the best presidents that the U.S. ever seen? Is it because she's your cousin, or because you you believe something about her, especially? What what's your reflection on her, your, your memory? Um, as I said earlier on, you know, she's someone who is very dedicated. Not saying that there's no president that that has been dedicated to what they are doing, you know, mm. but I've been listening to her rallies. And based upon her plans and what she has set out, her policies, when you listen to what she has in plan for the U.S., it is something that has been long wanted in the U.S. Mm. You know, people over the years have 
really struggled paycheck by paycheck and you know your only your, your post box in the us you know is like uh, uh, it, the bills in the us is like love letter that's yes. all you're getting your post box in the us yes, and yes. there has never really been any assistance mm. and i think that one of the greatest things i heard her saying that she wants to upkeep is that healthcare thing i'm very proud of her with that Mm. And with that twenty-five thousand dollars help for new homeowners, Being on the on the ladder, yeah. Yes. Oh my God! You know when I heard her announce that, I can tell you, goose pimple took me all over. Mm. It's mm. one of the greatest things I've ever heard because you know people have really struggled to own homes in the U.S. over the years, and yes. apart from that. You know, when she speaks about the pricing and those people who are just, you know, set prices on goods without any kind of restrictions, mm. you know, that's another issue there. Yeah. Gary, yeah. yeah. Gary, what, what's any question you want to put to Mr. Harris? Yes. Yes, Mark. Um, it's it's great to know that I could, I could uh, share the same screen with with yourself and with a good friend of mine, um, Silver. But um, in in the recent in the recent past, Camilla has has spoken much um, to some extent about her family and such. But um, she hasn't spoken much about her connection and her deep connection with Jamaica. How do you feel about that? Um, you know, sometimes when people are busy and have to do what they have to do, you know, I don't see how important it would be for her to be talking about that because she genuinely does have the connection here. Um, I don't know what kind of impact it would really have for her to be talking about connection with Jamaica. And of course, you know, we have put it out there. Yes, her father's Jamaican, born and grown in Brownstone. You know, that's Donald, my cousin, who is her father. Um, unfortunately, of course, we know of the disconnection between Donald and her mother. I mm. think she was probably about five years old. But mm. On weekends and so forth, she used to go over and spend time. Donald used to go and pick her up. And both she and Maya, her sister, who is mm -hmm. also a lawyer, you know, I mean, I don't know what is the big thing about she not talking about Jamaicans and her mm -hmm. connection here. As, as a matter of fact, I myself don't speak about it very much. And I can tell you, if it wasn't for Mr. Sidiel, I would not be here talking to anybody about this. Yeah. Because I mean, a, a friend of mine said, I, I don't think Mark is going to talk unless he's here in a city. From school days, you know, Mark going to yeah, say that. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, they're absolutely right. You know, I, 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 I don't know. It, it, it's, I'm happy about it. I'm proud about her, but mm. I'm not that kind of person who, and I, I, she probably has the same kind of attitude towards this, like myself. I mean, yes, we know the connection is there. We know it's genuine. It's not a made up anything. Yeah. So, you know, how, what would be the impact of her talking about this or even me talking about it? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, when it's, it's like, it's because she she more or less mentioned first off that she's South Asian. Um, whereas that is why people and that is why I mean I'm not saying I'm 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 upset about that. It's just that I'm just want to make the point that instead of saying she was of a West Indian heritage, which she is. She she more or less said that she's of a South Asian heritage, and um, I'm just I'm just thinking in my mind why why say that 
because they, they, they because there is a large very large jamaican contingency across the united states we all know that you know we, we all know that in every state never mind every country in the world wherever you go you're gonna find a jamaican there oh yeah no, mark what, what, what do you think what do you think about when when um chum said um she was indian and then she happened to turn black <laughs> no that is that was that was just for political purpose and campaigning because yes. i don't know and i've heard a lot of people saying what sir gary is saying yeah. and let me tell you something i personally has never heard out of her mouth mm. all of these things that have been said i have yeah. always heard her whenever i hear her speak about her heritage i've never heard her make any comments and leave that she has mm. heritage in jamaica yes and she also specified that half her family is from Jamaica in the parish of St. Anne. Mm. So when Trump came up and said that, and we know, and I don't want to touch the political part of it too much, but the yeah. truth of the matter is that Trump has been caught so many times saying things that no, go, he has been proven that things are otherwise. Mm. Mm. And well, I'm sure that he's just saying that to see if he could capture some black votes because him think that if him said that then i'm going to pull back from Kamala. it's not gonna happen yeah okay uh, <clears throat> mark are you there we just lost oh it for a my god hold on oh, hold on hold on i should have i call, I call hold on soon. hold on let me go out somebody was just calling me and then the voice gone gone low we can oh hear you my god. you're back you're back mark okay but you're low no, no. Oh, you can't hear me. You're very low. I, I know it's my yeah. phone because somebody was trying to call me. Yeah. Well, Hold on. Let me just mute and unmute. Yes. Hello. Are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm here, but uh, mess up the call, man. No, no problem. No problem, Mark. Because we, we're near to the end, and you're still, and and we can hear you very clearly. Okay. Even, even though you might not hear me clearly, but we are hearing you very clearly still. No, I'm hearing yeah. you clearly, you know, but you're very low. So I have to yeah. push up the... Yes, go ahead. Go ahead anyway. Yeah. So, so so, finally, what, what are you... What are you... Are you, are you looking forward to the, to the talk later tonight? If I go again, say that again. Are you looking forward to our speech tonight? Oh, of course, of course, yes, of course. Yes, yes, definitely. And and of finally course. and and finally before we go, can you give us a reflection or memory of her there with you guys in Brownstown and maybe even at the same house you are? <laughs> um, I tell you something, you know. I tell you something that's very that's very vague in my mind at at this point, but there are some things that we just can't forget. Yes. As little children. You know, what I can remember is that um, this house, this very house that I'm at now, was like the hub of the family reunions during the Christmas time. And they used to come here at Christmas, you know, with the entire family used to meet here. And we used to go up by the property where father was born and grown in Orange Hill. Yes. And because um, that was on the property house that he was born. And then, you know, we used to run up and down, you know, look at dad with the cows and, you know, at the great house up there. And then, you know, what I can remember about her, though, is that, oh, my God. From that girl was a little girl, although she's like two years older than I am. Yes. She used to pose some questions to us as children. Uh -huh. You know, sometimes we had to hide and run to mommy or daddy and ask what the answer is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, although we were like in the same age bracket, yes, you know, that yes. girl has been such a smart girl from a kid. 
Yes. That it's yes. unbelievable. And I'm yes. sure you have met smart kids around that is really unbelievable. She was one of them. Yes, yes. That much I can remember about her. Well, Mark, listen, uh, time is upon us now. So listen, I want to thank you so much for your reflection tonight on, on Kamala Harris. And um, I'm going to be listening as well to the show tonight and as well as Gary, if Gary can stay up and, and we watch we watch um, her, her this evening. Yep. Well, you're most welcome. Yes. Thank you for having me too. Yes. And yes. as a brethren from teenage days, you from know, you yes. caught me up on it, something like this. So. <laughs> <laughs> from from original York yesterday is a round stone, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Gary, any last word to um, Mark? No, no, Mark? no. That's... Okay. All right. Okay, so so thank you. Thank you so much, Mark. Just stay right there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for um, joining tonight. And I have just a quick um, discussion that I had with Mark Harris, who is the cousin of uh, Kamala Harris. And um, we, we wish you all the best and have a good night. Remember to like and subscribe to the show and see you around. God bless you. Bye-bye.